On average, by the time patients get to see me, they've been through three or four surgeries previously. So a common question I get is, why did my surgery fail? And there's a lot of reasons, but one reason, that, and the reason we're gonna talk about today, is that it was an outdated coagulation or burning kind of surgery. And so I wanna talk briefly about what is coagulation surgery and what's wide excision surgery and what's the difference. So to start with, coagulation surgery uses electrosurgery to burn the tissue. And the problem with that is it's very imprecise and there's a lot of lateral uh, spread of, uh, of heat. So the very center part, it's black, it's crispy critter, it's dead. The tissue next to it, there's what's called a zone of necrosis. It looks okay, but it's been heated enough that it's dead. And so in the pelvis where there's endometriosis, you have to make sure to stay away from any critical structure, the ureters, blood vessels, bowel, bladder, that kind of stuff. And so the advantage of coagulation surgery is it's pretty easy. You just stick the thing in there and burn it a little bit, and it doesn't take too long. The disadvantages are we now know that in the majority of cases, it doesn't remove all the endometriosis. And so there's a high recurrence rate with the coagulation surgery. And again, it, it damages the tissue. So the tissue that's left behind is damaged, it's inflamed. And from what we're starting to understand with how pain works with endometriosis, it may actually make that, that part of the condition worse. Next, we're gonna talk about wide excision surgery. And I've been asked, what's the difference between excision and wide excision? So excision means to cut out or to remove. Wide excision means we're gonna take a border of normal appearing tissue. So the inside of the body is lined by peritoneum. You can think of saran wrap that covers everything. There's no skin inside. And if we had uh, endometriosis, could be the chia seeds on the saran wrap. So wherever that spread, we need to make a cut surrounding all the peritoneum that has endometriosis, lift the edge up and cut it out. And so that's wide excision. Just like if you had a mole, you, you know the doctor wouldn't burn it or cut right around the little edge of it. He's gonna take some normal tissue because if it does come back cancer, then we all wanna know, did you get it all? And just, so endometriosis is not a cancer, but we have to get it all. So why, why doesn't everybody do excision surgery? Well, it takes a, a much uh, higher uh, technical skill uh, level, and it's not uh, really a skill that's taught routinely in the residency programs, um, and it does take longer. The advantage has lower recurrence rates. Uh, usually it gets all the endometriosis, and uh, again, there's little or no conduction of heat, so the tissue that's left behind is good, healthy tissue, and uh, we've removed any excess nerve uh, growth in the 